Welcome back. In this video, we will discuss the section tools from the model view in the work module. Click section and then select plane. Before placing the section plane in the model view, note that you can change the orientation settings here. Top, front, left, bottom, back, right, and view options all reference the orientation or the section plane direction from the view cube meaning the section plane will be parallel to the orientation on the view cube. For example, I want to create a section plane parallel to the left orientation on the view cube. I'd select left, and then left-click on the position where I want this section plane to be. Note how the section plane created is parallel to the left orientation on the view cube. We can click and drag the arrow to move the section plane. We can change the direction of the section plane by right-clicking on the arrow and selecting Flip Plane. If you want to look at the section plane from a perpendicular angle, right-click on the arrow and select Align Camera to Section. When the orientation setting is set to Face, the section plane's orientation will follow the red plane. When the Element option is selected, left-click an element to create a section box bounding the element. You can drive the arrows to change the shape of the section box. However, if you right-click on the arrow, it will snap to that view direction. You can select Hide Section Handles to hide or show the arrows. Clear Sections will disable the sections in the model view. Display Cuts will toggle the display of the cut plane in solid or hollow. The Range option will create a section box by first identifying the corner of the clip volume, and then the opposite corner. Again, you can drive the arrows to change the shape of the section box. Shape gives you the same result as Element and Range, a section box. However, you get to choose the orientation of the section box when creating it. For example, I want to create a section box with an orientation of top I can set that orientation. Then finish the section box by first identifying the start point, then identifying the first edge endpoint. then placing the opposite corner, and you will be able to create a section box. Again, you can resize the section box by dragging the arrows in the eye model view. That sums up the section box. In the next video, we will discuss civil tools. I'll see you there.